So in this one we are interpreting integers in a real-world situation. So let's read about Ivana. She is riding a bike race that goes through a valley and a nearby mountain range. So we are going to have values that are below zero because they are below sea level. And we are going to have values that are positive because they are above sea level. So the table gives the altitude in feet above, it should say below or above sea level, for five checkpoints in this race. And it may say below, nope. So we need to consider that the negatives again are below sea level and the positives are again above sea level. So which checkpoint is the furthest below sea level? And so to figure that out, we are looking for the largest negative number or the negative number with the greatest absolute value. In this case, that's negative 185, which is checkpoint five. That is the farthest below sea level. Which checkpoint is the furthest above sea level? Well, let's look for the largest positive value or the positive value with the greatest absolute value. That's checkpoint one. She starts out at 2,946 feet. So what does it mean for a checkpoint to have an altitude of zero feet? So checkpoint four has an altitude of zero feet. When we're talking about altitude, the number zero represents sea level. So like at the beach where you would be right next to the water, it is at sea level. Okay, let's try a couple more. So in this case, we are talking about profits. And so this table gives a, company, a small company's profits in thousands of dollars over five months. So we need to use the table to answer these questions. And so again, this gives their profits. And so to understand this, a negative profit would mean that they are losing money. They're having negative profit. A profit of zero would mean that they did not make any money, but they did not lose any money. And a profit that is positive would mean that they made some money. So let's take a look at these questions. In which month did the company make the most money? So making money as a positive value, we are looking for the largest positive value. That's 249, they made the most money in February. In which mo month did the company lose the most money? And so some people would want to say, let's pick zero, but that's not the case because zero means I didn't make any money and I did not lose any money. So if we're looking for when we lost the most, we want to look for the largest negative number or the negative number with the greatest absolute value. In this case, that's negative 324 and that's in May company lost $324,000 in May. That's quite a lot. What did it mean for the company to have a profit of zero? It means that they lost money? No, they didn't lose money. They didn't make money. They neither made money or lost money. And so the word neither means that they did not make money or lose money. That's how we can, another way for us to read that. I'll try a couple more. So this table gives the increases in Abdul's account balance, and so his bank account over five days. Changes in the balance only come from deposits and withdrawals, and so a deposit is putting money in, which is a positive transaction. Withdrawals are taking money out, which is a negative transaction. So we can look at this and say, okay, Abdul, uh, if he did zero, he did not take any money out or put any money in, which means he made zero deposits or zero withdrawals. It does not mean that he had zero money in his bank account. It means that's how much his bank account changed by that day. And so on which day was the most money withdrawn? And so withdrawal is a negative number. We're looking for the greatest, the largest negative number. In this case, that's negative 188, so on Wednesday. On which day was the most money deposited or put in, which is a positive number. We're looking for the largest positive value. That was on Monday. And what did it mean for Abdul's account balance to increase by zero dollars? Again, it did not mean that he had no money in his account. He did not withdraw money that day. He did not deposit money that day. Neither money was neither deposited nor withdrawn on that day. And again, another way to read this was money was not deposited or withdrawn that day. We'll give this one more shot to see if we get a different problem type. This table gives Rita's account balance. Let's see if we can find one that's not. Okay. Balloons altitude in feet. This kind of, we did one of these already. Let's see if we can find one that's unique. Account balance and altitude seems to be pretty common. So do profits. Okay.
let's go with whatever the next one is. A hot air balloon flew through the sky. The table gives the balloon gives increases in the balloon's altitude for five time periods. And so it could be an increase or decrease, because if it is a negative number, that means the balloon is falling out of the sky. Hopefully they don't fall down and crash, but uh, negative numbers would mean that they are coming down. Positive numbers would mean that they are going up. And zero would be that they are just kind of floating flat through the sky, like my cursor across the screen right here. Not going up or down, just floating through the sky. So which time period did the balloon move downward the most? We are looking for the largest negative number. That would be period two. During which time period did the balloon move upward the most? We are looking for the largest positive number. That would be period four. And so for the balloon to have an increase in altitude of zero feet, again, means that the balloon is just kind of floating through the sky, not going up, not going down. So the balloon neither moved neither upward nor downward. And again, another way to read that is the balloon moved not up or down. Kind of a weird, the English language is sometimes strange. I don't know what to tell you. But that's correct. And that's the last one of those we're going to do.